If you don't know, Ginny mm -hmm. Thomas, I mean, this is Clarence Thomas's wife. Now we know, oh, there she is. Uh, yeah, well, that picture, I don't know if that picture comes from that day, but she was at the January 6th riot. Yeah. She participated in what was basically urging on a coup. She participated in something that was all about yeah. stopping the vice president of the United States from certifying a vote, which they knew was a legitimate vote. That's who is... Now, she always says, Clarence and I, we don't really talk about politics at home. We don't... Mm -hmm. I can see that, that there's silence at the dinner table. They are married. Uh, <laughs> no, and I can... <laughs> but... <laughs> and now we have some of her texts where she yes. was urging on... The Washington Post got a hold of her text. She's urging on Trump's chief of staff... Mm -hmm. Right. After November, after the votes have been counted to overturn this election, based on crazy QAnon theories, is there anything to be done about this? Because Clarence Thomas, plainly, he was the lone guy to... Uh, the lone dissenting vote when, this, when the court ruled that the January 6th committee... Yes. ...could get yeah. Trump's papers yes. that were yep. related to that. This is, uh, I'll let Senator test. I'd like to let you... Well, I, mean, I, think it's, I think it's very disturbing, because one of the things, one of the big qualities you need to have with the Supreme Court justice is independence, and to be able to look at the facts and make a decision based on the facts. And when you're being influenced by the person that's sitting next to you, and, and they might say they don't talk, I don't buy that, or they wouldn't be... Well, maybe they would still be married. But the truth is, is that you visit with your spouse. That's a secret it's, communication, secret to a long marriage. But I'm telling you, it puts his independence in question, and he should, he should be recusing himself from any of these, these issues. But, but, but... The, the woman has been, the woman has been a, a crazy, yes. crazy right-wing activist crazy. for the entire time that yes. her husband has been on the Supreme Court. More crazy in more recent years, as has happened with the party in general. You read the text messages, Bill, it's like, who's your nuttiest most brain diseased, <laughs> rel Trump MAGA following relative, the one who's been a brain alibi by syphilis or whatever, they, and, and they've completely gone around the bend and they do all their shit posting on Facebook. That's what her text messages sound like. She's writing about how the Biden cram crime family and reporters should be sent to military tribunals at Gitmo because of what? Because of the fact that they were what? saying that the election was legitimate after the election. I, in I addition to urging the chief of staff to be like a political consultant to the chief of staff, it is possible that, that, that Clarence Thomas didn't know that. Although they have both called themselves each other's best friends on many occasions in public, but is, this is an issue not just of her craziness. It's an issue of corruption. It's like there is a the, there's a federal the Supreme Court has no ethical guidelines on it whatsoever for judges. There's no code of ethics on the Supreme Court. But the rest of federal judges, and that includes them in some sense. Uh, are said that you can't rule in a case in which your spouse or family members can, can benefit in some way. This was a case where she, as a member of a right-wing cabal that wants to overthrow the election, would benefit potentially from uh, not having Trump's uh, communications come forward. It also, she would personally benefit from not having those communications come forward. He was conflicted out of this case. Did he ever admit that his wife went to the Stop the Steal rally? No. Did he admit that there was any possible conflict of interest? No. He should not only be barred from ruling on any case related to the January 6th issue, I think there's a pretty good case he should be censured in some other way. Ju Justice Roberts needs to get serious about this. <laughs> because he talks all the time about the fact, and he's right, that the court, the Supreme Court's standing in American life now is worse than it's been any time in our lifetime. Americans do think the court has been politicized. They think it's not credible. This is the kind of shit that makes people think that, and they're right to think that. In this case, you got to do something about it. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what we can, but... This should just so that people don't think you're exaggerating or I'm exaggerating about this, let me read a, uh, the thing you were alluding to before yeah. about Gitmo. Please. She actually thought that was actually happening. It wasn't a proposal. She was... Looking at these QAnon conspiracy theories, the QAnon believes that Trump put watermarks on the ballots so he could tell when fraud was happening. So Biden... This is Ginny's... This is Ginny's text. Biden crime family and ballot fraud co-conspirators are being arrested and detained for ballot fraud right now. And over the coming days, we'll be living in barges off of Gitmo to face military tribunals for sedition. She also said, release the Kraken. This is... She's talking to his chief of staff. 
I think she's smoking the Kraken. <laughs> Release. <laughs> Release the Kraken and save us from the left taking America down. And then at one point, she also says, many of us can't continue the GOP charade. I thought that was interesting, the GOP charade. She's... In other words, Republicans are not nearly conservative enough, not that it's conservative to want to take over the country in she's, a coup. She's but... so crazy that even shithouse rats think she's crazy. Right. Okay. Well... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't, I, know what to, I don't know what to do. I, I don't have a solution that. to that one either. <laughs>